hey guys it's E with scrapbooking with me and I'm gonna try to do this intro again I did this yesterday and I was gonna actually get my Friday freebie video up on Friday but guess what somehow I deleted the first part of the video <laughs> I don't know how I did it <laughs> I don't know but I wanted to show you the freebies and then uh, a lot of you I'm sure have already gone over and grabbed these I wanted to show you the freebies for Friday and then I do have the second part of the video so then we'll roll right into what I made with it so now this is just my uh, template printout this is the actual color of them you can see there's a little bit different color because I used cheap paper on this and I used my HP paper on that one but you have four pockets and then you have the tag templates now I didn't put anything on the tags because what I did was I cut the cut one of them out with a good cardstock and then I used it on this paper to make my tags okay so my tags like this I just thought that would be easier and then you'll have these templates to use whenever and wherever you want or you could print this out this sheet out on this if you wanted either way you can do it like you want and then at the bottom I put some lace on there that you can use on the bottom of your tags as I did here so that is the three it's three pages so that's the freebies for this week so remember the only thing that we ask of you is that you be a subscriber to our channels and that's mine and Melina's and that's just I think that's not too much to ask to hit that subscribe button in order to download these freebies that's just what we require so if you don't mind just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and then you can go over to the link that will be below this video and download these for free all right let's get into what we make okay I've got everything cut out and inked I'm probably not going to do all my tags and all my pockets I'm just going to do one to kind of show you what I do with it but you you know you guys are very creative so y'all can do whatever you would like now I always like to start off with a little bit of book page I don't know why just seems to get the ball rolling and I just took my tag and used my paper and cut it out I just used my tag as a template and then let's see and then I thought about cut this little piece out I thought about that so I think I'll go that route then I'm going to put that lace right there now I I tore my lace and then I inked it so you could cut it out if you wanted but I just wanted that torn look I have big scissors somewhere but I have no clue what I've done with them they're buried somewhere these have so much glue on them I don't <laughs> everything sticking to them uh. So that's going to be the basic look of that tag there. And then I'm going to put this little guy right here, I think. And then I'll punch a little hole and we'll put some seam binding in there probably.
And this is just a little piece of ephemera that I don't know where I got. Probably from somebody's digital somewhere. I don't know. I've had it in my stash and I just looked up and thought, well, that might work pretty good. So I think that's going to be that one. And I'm just going to grab my little punch here. And punch a hole. And that punches the long hole so you can put lace or seam binding in there. And I'll just show you what it looked like. I may not get up and get the seam binding right this minute. But I will show you what a little piece of lace looked like in here. I think lace might look better in here actually. So that would be your lace. And of course I would tie it around through here with some other little string or something. That'd be pretty, wouldn't it? Alright, we will lay that one aside. Now these should fit, if I measured everything correctly. Yeah, they fit in there perfectly. And then you would have more room to put like another tag if you wanted to. Or a shorter tag or a journal, big journaling card behind if you wanted to do that. So that would go in there. Now, I'm going to trim this off a little bit right here. It's bugging me. You may have to do some doctoring on some of the corners. I didn't try all of them before I printed them out. All right, on here, I think all I'm going to do is put this little label. I started to put one of my labels on there, but it, that the shape of it just didn't look right. There we go. And that is that one. I think they're super cute. All right, we'll do another, maybe one more, and then I'll let you guys go, and y'all can do all of your magic and show me what you have done. Remember when, when we did these? We had these a couple of weeks ago. Well, a few weeks ago. More than a couple. And I'll show you in a minute. It's those little music cards that, that we made. I think they were a freebie on a Friday, too. And they had birds on them. I think we'll do this for a little background. And I do want more of my lace on there. Let's see, I think I'm going to use this end. Yeah, I think I'll put that down. There is a fly in here, and you can see it flying around. Open the door today and the flies come swarming in. You can tell it's getting summertime when you start getting flies every time you open the door. So I'll have to get my swatter out here in a minute and see if I can send him to his heavenly home. Okay, put that there. Trim it off. Well, I'm enjoying making these. Gives me ideas. More ideas. I love that vintage look. Pretty. Now you should have enough lace for all three of your tags, and you do. Sorry, I got a little mess right there and I can't get up. It's stuck to my mat. Alright, and then I thought about, since we have that blue bird and that little bird, I thought about putting this little guy down there. Like that. I think I'm going to 
cut just a tiny bit this bottom off because I want him to be a little bit lower. There we go. We'll put it like that. If I can hold on to it, we'll do it. My camera, um, my card keeps saying full and I know it's not because I've emptied it. I don't know what the deal is. Canon makes good products, but I tell you, they're very finicky. <laughs> very finicky. There we go. So I have to keep looking up at it to make sure that you're still with me. All right. Got that. Okay, fly. Go away. Got that. Look at him. He just, he wants on film. <laughs> He wants, he wants his uh, camera time. <laughs> Silly fly, get out of here. And then I think we'll put a number on there. Thinking about right there for my number, maybe. That will work. Okay, and that's another one. So we'll put that one and this one. And again, I want to put some little something right there. I may just put that on there. I like that shape, and I think maybe that'll look okay with it. Let me trim it out real quick, and we'll see. Oh yeah, I like the looks of that. We're going to put that right there. I have to hold it up to see if I'm getting it straight because when you can't get up over it, you can't see. That will work. And then let's, here's our little ribbon punch. Punch a little hole right there in the top. And then we could also do another lace in that one if we wanted. Now I won't have these tied probably in the video, I mean in the photos, I don't know. But, um, just put it in there so you can get a get a look at it. All right, I think that's the only two that we're going to do. You guys are good enough that y'all can do the others. I know. I love seeing what you do with yours. Please don't forget to share it over on our Facebook page. I love to see all of the variations of people using the same product, but they get so many different variations. I love that. So don't forget to share with us. We will talk to you guys later. Give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.